Yali, here's a little look at some of your first run Mount Snow GS. Hey, you did a great job. I mean, I know you were oh so close to the uh, the awards, but 11th place for your really your first U12 race was was great. I know you you want it to be just one spot better, but uh, that'll come. But still, it was it was a great great effort. Well done. Had a pretty good line all the way down. Um, you know, one thing and. Obviously, it's a little bit blurry, and uh, your parents got um, clearer, uh, you know, better video, better quality video f uh, was emailed to them, so please take a look at that. But, um, you know, you're, you obviously kind of, as you can see, kind of just leaned in there, right? The feet got really wide. The ski separated because the outside ski was just sort of running on you down the hill and finished that turn. Or the middle of the turn on the inside ski, then here finally got got on that outside ski. So you now, as you know, you got to be outside ski to outside ski, and really, you know, keep working on those that outside ski drill. And uh, when you have, you know, when you're free skiing down, and you need to incorporate that more into your skiing. Um, something we've been talking about a little bit is you kind of tend to rotate upper body in the direction of travel and that's going to send you know kind of the the hip to the outside skis will flatten a bit and skid and that's what's what's, what's happening here you can see the outside ski just drifting on you and skidding a little better on on that side it tends to be a little bit more on the, on the left footers or turns to the right and here you go again kind of really leading with the upper body and it's all it's all one there's not a lot of upper and lower body separation there you can see this again the outside ski kind of skidding and all the spray um, you know I did put you up here just as a for a visual comparison this, this kid from uh, a boy from uh, from Bromley and it's a couple of things we've been talking a little bit about with you trying to have a little more movement forward in the transition now he doesn't come up but he gets those hips just up a little bit he's not standing tall but he moves the hips a little up and forward so they're up over his boot at the top of the next turn you're going to see yourself come in here although well, you've got a nice position there you didn't stand up tall the hips just stay really back all the way through and never really move forward. And on number two, like we've just been talking about, you're going to rotate the upper body in the direction of travel right here. You're going to see him. Right now he's lined up with the skis, right? Direction of travel. He's facing them, square to his skis. All of a sudden, he's going to be facing more this direction, right? Remember we talk about how you want to face your outside ski tip, right? So here, which is what he's doing, and you're, you're facing, you know, that way, right? So the hip, hip moves this way, and, and the skis sort of flatten out and skid. Now he's going to come through. So right now we see square down the hill, and he's going to realign and face direction of travel right there. Now he's square to his skis. Right. Again, a little, little bit better on, on that side, although you can still see how he's just a little more square down the hill, but you're certainly better on, on the right footers. And here you can see Again, hips stay pretty back. Don't really move forward. He's just gonna have. It's subtle. It's not. It's not big. He just sort of moves them without standing up tall. Just brings those hips a little forward. Helps him get in the front of the boot on the next turn. But again, you can see your move. You know, rotating upper body in the direction of travel. 
So again, it throws the hip this way, which flattens out the skis. So we really want to try to, as you see him, I think we've talked about keeping our back and butt pointed up the hill. Right now his back and butt are up the hill. All right, and he's going to realign himself right there with the direction of travel. Now he's square to his skis. So he was square there. Not, he's really what we call countered. A little counter. And he's going to be square. And you're going to be, t you're going to tend to be square all the time. All right, so I hope definitely better on that side. tougher on um, you know on this side so yeah let's think about you know facing our outside ski tip right through the belly of the turn right we should be looking here with upper body not not, not looking you should be looking down the hill but um, again you can see how his he's a little bit you know facing out here so a little square I mean I'm sorry a little bit counter right and then squares up with the skis in the direction of travel in the transition so let's think about that but like i said great first race you had a nice line um if we can clean up a little bit of that you know that body position um and and leading especially on the left footer or turns to the right leading and rotating with the upper body will be a lot cleaner we'll be carving more and clean skis are faster skis